Hi friends, in this video, I am going to explain about the relational fields in Odo. The relational fields provides the option to link the data of one model with the data of another model. In Odo, we have three relational fields, one to many, many to one, and many to many. First, we can check the many to one field. A many to one field is a one way direction of selecting one record from a table. We can check an example. This is a simple example of a many to one field. Next, we can check the parameters of the many to one field. This is the parameters of a many to one field. First is co model name. The name of the target model is a mandatory except for related or extended fields. Next is domain. Domain uh, is an optional parameter. We can use some filtrations in the many to one field. For that, we are using the domain. Next is context. Context is a optional field. If you want to pass any value to this um, many to one field, we can use the context field. Next is on delete. We can use a string value inside here. We can set null or we can restrict or we can use cascade. Next is auto join. It is also a optional field and it is a boolean. If you want auto join, we can uh, set this to a true. Otherwise, defaultly, it will be false. Next is delegate. It's an optional field and a boolean field too. We can make true. Set it to true to make field of the target model accessible from the current model. Next is check company. Check company is also a boolean field and an optional field. If we make this field true, it will add the default company domain depending on the field attribute. Next we can check how to use these parameters in the one, many to one field. This is the co-model name and uh, we can uh, provide the domain like this domain equal to and we can write our condition inside these brackets. Next is context. Context. We can pass the value of the context from here. Next we can check the next field that is one to many field. This is an example of uh, one to many field. This is the parameters of the one to many field. First is co model name. Co model name means that the target model name is a mandatory field, exception for the case of related or uh, extended fields. Next is relation, it's an str field. Optional name of the table that store the relation in the database. Next is column one. Optional name of the column referring to this records in the table relation. Next is column two. It's an also a str field. It's an optional name of the column referring to those records in the table relation. Next we can check the example of the one to many field. This is the co model name and uh, this is the relation relation with this model co model and uh, this is a string for this one to many field and I just provided a state for this model and this is auto join equal to true and the copy equal to true. Next field is many to many.
this is an example of uh, many to many field we can check the parameters of this uh, many to many field this is first is co model name co model name name of the target model it's a mandatory it's an exception for the case of related or extended fields next is relation means that uh, relation with this co model and the column one it's an optional name of the column and referring to this records in the table relation next is column two it's an optional name of the column referring to those records set in the relation next we can uh, check this example this is the comodal name and the string name and the context we are passing to this many to many i hope you got the idea about the relational fields in order thank you for watching